Hey guys, welcome back to a new video from HamsterTube, and today I am doing what is the startup hamster cost of owning a hamster. So the first thing I'm going to cover is cages. You can get a bin cage or a really expensive cage. I'm going to put up in the corner the minimum and the maximum of what you can um, get from like owning a hamster and yours will probably be somewhere in that range a little you could be a little bit under because of where you live this also depends on sales discounts location and the pet store itself that sometimes they have it overpriced sometimes they have it underpriced so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that and also this is the startup hamster cost this is not including monthly payments of bedding and food so the first thing I'm starting off with is a cage. You're going to need a cage for your hamster, obviously. And um, if you want to go for the cheaper option, you can get a bin cage, which is normally around $20. And you can also get a really expensive cage, which can be around $100. Behind me here is the IKEA Detox hamster cage. And this roughly measures 950 square inches and it's a great deal for the price it's only around 70 dollars which if you were to get a tank this big it would probably cost you around 800 dollars so this is a pretty good size for the price of it um i just want to let you guys know that this uh minimum and maximum thing it's all within the bare like the needs of your hamster um like all of the cages that I'm mentioning and stuff, they're all above 450 square inches because anything smaller than that, like Tiny Tails cages and Critter Trails and like crazy cages that your hamster can barely move in, I can't, um, those I'm not adding in this video because those are just not suitable for a hamster and you should definitely not be housing your hamster in it because you can end up getting them really, really sick from it. So please have a cage that is 450 square inches. You can measure the length times the width and that'll get you the square inches. And um, yeah, I hope that you give your hamster something where they are happy in and they're not chewing on the bars or anything because chewing on the bars is not normal. It is uh, caused by stress. So please keep it to the big cages so the next thing i'm talking about is food this can range from twenty dollars to fifty dollars depending on what you're getting normally homemade food mixes can be fifty dollars or even more than that but um the food that you can get from the pet store like i recommend market medley and then uh, i have the market medley hamster and gerbil diet and i added in uh my own like uh food mixes like different stuff to make a good balanced diet for my hamster you can also have um higgins sunburst and the missouri rat and mouse pellets that is also very good and um so that is normally around 20 dollars but you can pay like 50 dollars for your hamster's food and that is normally the best option but uh please keep in mind that it has to meet your hamster's needs you can't be going and getting rat food and thinking that the rat food will be safe for your hamster because it's most likely not. It's most likely uh, made for rats. So you need to be careful that you're getting the requirements your hamster needs. So the next thing is wheels. And this depends on a dwarf or a Syrian hamster. Um, and the range is quite big. Like you can get a $10 wheel and you can also get a $50 wheel. So it really just depends on where you're getting it, what size you're getting. Syrian hamsters need eight inch or bigger. Um, normally your hamster, you can tell if it's too small. Their back needs to be completely straight while they're running. It can't be arched whatsoever. So Angel has a 10 inch wheel back here, which is a pretty big wheel. And um, normally when you get those tiny tails cages and like critter trails and stuff uh they'll come with a wheel that's too small for your hamster so syrian hamsters need 10 in, uh syrian hamsters need eight inches or bigger 
and dwarf hamsters need six inch or bigger. So again, the wheel can cost from ten dollars to fifty dollars. The next thing is choose, and these are really inexpensive. No, like it doesn't really matter where you're buying it from. They are normally like very inexpensive. Um, here I have the minimum is two dollars for choose and five dollars for choose. It really choose are not that big of a deal. So yeah, they're normally really cheap. Toys you do need to have multiple toys in your cage, but I am just adding toys. Um, like you do need to have more than one. So uh, you can spend from $10 to $20 on your hamster's toys. Make sure that there is not very much like open space. Make sure it's very filled with toys and uh, fun enriching stuff for your hamster. And your hamster is going to need a house, um, a place to hide in for them to feel safe. Um, in their house, you need to have a house that your hamster can fit in. So these can range from $5 to $10. My um, hamster's favorite house is actually from the dollar store, and it's uh, that little gingerbread house in the back corner there. She loves sleeping in that house. And all I did was cut out an entrance, and I uh, it already had a roof and stuff. It was made for, like, decoration in your house or something. It was, like, really cheap. So I just cut out the base, and I cut out a door, and it was a perfect $5 house for your hamster. Um, you are going to need bedding for your hamster. Bedding is very important. You need to have at least 6 inches of bedding. I even recommend more. So I have 6 inches over there. I am going to be um, adding in more bedding soon. So uh, she has 6 inches of bedding in that corner back there. You can have like a mountain of bedding. And uh, again, with the little cages, you can't have a good amount of bedding. The bases are only like that big and your hamster needs like this much bedding. So you need a lot of bedding for your hamster. Sorry about the flare in my glasses here. The window is like reflecting into my glasses. So sorry about that. <laughs> but. Uh, bedding can cost from $30 if you get like the natural uncolored stuff. I recommend Carefresh or KT Clean and Cozy and it can go $50 if you get a really expensive brand of colored bedding whatnot. So it can cost from $30 to $50. Um, you're going to need a water bottle or a water bowl. Um, my hamster uses a water bowl back there and my other hamster Sugar uses a water bottle. So. And they're both generally priced very low, like $5 to $15 is really what you're paying for a water bottle. And the last thing is really important. This is probably one of the most important things besides a good habitat for your hamster. You need a vet fund. So you need to have money saved up in, uh, so that when your hamster gets sick, you can take them to an exotic vet and get them uh, treated. So for both of these, I would recommend having at least $150 in your bank account just uh, to be there for when your hamster gets sick. So I have a bank account that is completely good with vet funds in it, and um, you definitely need a vet fund for your hamster. So as you can tell, the ham hamsters are not cheap animals. The minimum you can go is really like $252. Again, it can range between $252 to $450. So it can really start to jump. And um, hamsters are not cheap animals. People believe, some people believe that you can get a hamster and they're only going to need to spend like $50 on it and it'll be fine. It's just an animal. But really, they with all of their care needs, yeah, you need to be providing them, it really starts to jump really high. So again, I do definitely recommend having a very big cage with a lot of bedding, a lot of toys, a proper sized wheel, and everything for your hamster or else your hamster can get very sick, especially Syrian hamsters can get something called wet tail 
and that is definitely like definitely not good. It is fatal for your hamster. So you need to be providing them with a big cage and if your cage has bars on it, make sure that they are not chewing them. If they are chewing the bars, your cage is too small and you need to upgrade it to a bigger cage. So I will be having a video on bin cages in the future with Brenna and I am going to be having that video and then I will talk about why there's good things about bin cages. So if you have a small cage right now and you're wondering like I can't I can't afford to get a big cage then uh, you can go watch my bin cage video which will be up in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Again this is just the startup hamster cost. You do need to get uh, the bedding once every month for your hamster and you will also need to be getting uh, food once every month for your hamster. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can see some of my other um, posts and I'll see you guys soon.